this thing on? Test, test. Hey, Vault Hunter, have we got an opportunity for you? You don't want to miss it! That Saurian living upstairs? Maurice. Tanny says he's here in peace, but I don't believe that for a second. I see how he looks at the humans aboard. He's hungry! I saw him dragging a bag up to his den. A human sized bag. Go see what you can find, Volta. Don't be a stranger, unless you're broke. Stranger man. You're not the boss of me. Life-size body pillow of my hero, Axton, back to my bunk, but uh, it's so heavy. Not sure why they included the turret. A sleep den must always be made comfortable. You will accept Maurice's help with this task. Really? Thanks so much. You're the best, Maurice. Maurice was helping someone? Nah, that can't be right. There's got to be some dirt somewhere. Find it, Vault Hunter. Hey, got any spare change? A vault hunter! Dollar for a dance. Dollar for a dance.
Whoremonger Marcus has distrust for Maurice. This is understandable. Maurice is on a mission of peace, and this is a threat to business. You will bring to Marcus a gift. Warm blood gift giving rituals remain mysterious. Where he comes from, Maurice would simply vomit blood on his scale brother's doorstep and scream the friendship scream. On the sanctuary, this has been yes, yes. The perfect gift for Warmonger Marcus. You will take it to him. What is this? A present? From Maurice? Ah! Look at the fumes coming off of that box! Get it away! Put it over there! This was fun. Wait, now, what's the word? Tolerable. This was fun. What's the word? Ha! I knew it! That present must have a neurotoxin inside, or some kind of acid that would melt my face off. Maurice tried to kill me. I knew he was up to no good. Ah, what a relief. The last thing I could stand is to have someone nice on board. Ugh. This place only holds together because we all might kill each other at a moment's notice. Thanks for investigating, Vault Hunter. A face-melting success. Warmonger Marcus only respects strength and fears warmth. Though Maurice is here in peace, he knows well the diplomacy of the Claw. You will know Maurice's appreciation. short on syringes. It would appear that the idiotic primate inhabitants of this vessel have been stealing my syringes and using them for who knows what. I'm running low and I need them back. Gum beer 
It's Vault's o'clock, baby. Meet me at, um, launch pad seven. So Malawan has that laser on lockdown. There's no way your drop pod would get through security. But I've got a state-of-the-art Atlas brand ship with cloaking. So the plan is to fly up to the orbital platform and take out that laser before Katagawa knows what hit him. stolen my syringes, please execute them. Okay? Bye. myself the smartest organism in the six galaxies. 
in hopes that that title would diminish the existential terror and self-hatred that plagues my every waking moment. It did not. Feel free to plug it back in and take a shot at the champ, as it were. Hey folks, this is Mayim Bialik, actor, PhD scientist, researcher, and your favorite person. Today, I'm here to talk to you about video games and science and how we can grab both by their necks and make them kiss, consensually. Long story short, by playing Borderlands 3, you can contribute to real-world scientific research, as in data that helps real people in meat space. Speaking of meat, did you know that more than half the cells in our bodies are alien? Only 43% of our cells are of human origin. The rest belong to foreign microbes. These microbes have a massive impact on our body's health. The more we study microbes, the more we can learn about the accumulation of meat and existential terror that is the human body. These microbes are made up of DNA, just like us. Each microbe has its own special DNA signature, and similar species of microbes have similar DNA. If we could sequence all the different species of microbes found in the human body, which, remember, make up more than half of the cells in our body, we'd learn a ton about ourselves. To that end, the Microseta Initiative collected tens of thousands of samples of, to use the scientific term, doo-doo, extracted the DNA of the microbes inside, and sequenced it. Now we just need to organize this data. Unfortunately, though computers excel at certain tasks, like crunching numbers or tracking down specific pornography, they're not so good at organizing DNA information. See, different species of microbes have similar, but not quite identical DNA. That means mapping their sequences can be kind of ambiguous. The computer makes lots of small mistakes that can corrupt downstream analysis. Which brings us back to video games! So we've got several million sequences that are each 150 nucleotides long that are riddled with small errors from the computer analysis. How can we get rid of all these errors? With your help. We've taken the millions of DNA sequences and broken them down into bite-sized puzzles that you can play and solve inside Borderlands 3. And try not to think about the fact that the DNA came from human excrement when I use phrases like bite-sized. By playing Borderlands Science inside Borderlands 3, you'll be directly helping our scientists organize and compare this dung data. The game is simple. You'll be confronted with different strands of DNA, each made up of individual tiles. It's your job to place as many of these tiles as possible in their appropriate row while matching the colors. It's not always possible to line everything up perfectly, but that's okay. By playing the game and matching the sequences, you'll also be identifying the errors in our computer analysis and helping scientists across the planet build a better algorithm for the future. And since all this research is open access, the entire scientific community will benefit from it. This research could directly lead to a universal catalog of all known microbes, which could lead to new breakthroughs in food, medicine, exercise, the sky's the limit. And it all starts with you playing a video game. But if the pursuit of knowledge isn't enough of an encouragement to sort through virtual butt microbes, then fear not. Playing Borderlands Science earns you in-game currency you can spend on booster items for your characters. Oh, and this is all totally free. Just activate the Borderlands Science machine on Sanctuary 3 and sort some gut microbes. Are you ready to match colored dots to other colored dots? Let me show you how this works. So these colored tiles represent the building blocks of DNA, or to simplify, the tiny meat cubes that big meat people are made out of. So if it helps, just imagine those blocks as small multicolored hunks of steak. It does not. Your goal is to align them with the guidelines on the left. You can push the tiles upward by inserting tokens. Now shove those beautiful meat babies! Good job! 
prove my intellectual superiority, I installed a scoring system into this machine. Et voila! If you want to prove you're brainier than Dr. Tannis, make sure you fill that score bar up as much as you possibly can before submitting your score. Challenging my tough score? Here's a pro tip. Smash the buttons with your fist until Tannis gets so angry, she completes them for you.
that was fun. I truly don't care. If you ever wish to get good and return to this cabinet in an effort to beat my top score, please feel free.